Hey guys, I'm super excited because today we're going to the holiest place in the world to the Jewish people. Let's go! Jews all over the world pray to the direction of the Temple Mount. But before going to such a holy place, we're going to go to the city of David to purify in the Shiloh pool since Jewish halacha requires a mikvah before going up. Let's go there. Okay, so we're out of the water and now it's time to go up to the Temple Mount. This is the entrance to the Temple Mount. We're standing right here, and this whole area is the Temple Mount that actually used to be a bare mountain, but Herod covered it up with a huge platform more than 2,000 years ago for the second temple. The platform was supported by four walls, one of them the western wall that today has a prayer plaza on the other side of it. We're standing right on top of it over here. Okay, now that we understand where we are, let's go in. I'm here with my friend Hanan. We're going to go up together today. This is our uh, policeman who's going to protect us. He's a good man. Let's go. The Temple Mount is huge, and just as we walked up, we saw ancient pillars that still had some gold on them. One of them even dates back to the time of the Second Temple 2,000 years ago. We just saw gold. Amazing. So the walk goes around the place where the Temple was, and that's where we're on our way to now. This is where the Jewish Temple stood and was destroyed by the Romans 2,000 years ago. 600 years later, the Muslims conquered the land and built this dome on top of the Holy of Holies. Being here is very powerful. We're continuing now to see another remnant from the first temple. Okay, you ready? You gotta see this. The cedar wood right down over there. This wood is finally covered. It was thrown out during renovations on the Temple Mount. It was sent to a lab for testing and it was dated to 3,000 years ago, to the time of the first temple. We'll conclude our walk around the Temple Mount back at the Western Wall where we began. This wall right over here is the top of the western wall and on the other side of that you could see this. It's not just a wall, there's actually something behind it. Unfortunately, the Muslim waqf are against Jews praying on the Temple Mount and since the Israeli government doesn't want conflict with the Muslims, they officially don't allow Jews to pray on the Temple Mount. But as a Jew, I pray for the day that the Jewish people will be able to pray here with all nations. Just like the Prophet Isaiah says, Ki beiti beit this mountain is going to be a mountain of prayer for all nations, a place of peace to the world. That's what the Jewish people want, and that's why we really want this place to be a light unto the world. See you next time in another amazing place in Israel, not as amazing as the Temple Mount. Please note that according to the rabbis who support going up to the Temple Mount, there are still strict talachot, and we're seeing in a mikvah, not wearing leather shoes, walking only in the permitted areas. Please ask an halachic authority or reach out before going up to the Temple Mount.